Tonight, super senior collects and sells everything under the sun. That and her very big family keep her happy and on the move, as Joe Carroll found out. Just off Route 16 in Glover. I love my shop, I do. There's a sign at Nanny's Bears and Threads that owner Becky Simino lives by. This is home. A shop bursting with used goods. This is all sewing, the tin dishes, the cooking dishes, games, toys. Looks like you got everything. Yeah, I do. <laughs> the store opens seven days a week, is run by Becky with some help from her family. Do you give a family discount? Yes. <laughs> Upstairs is the clothes section where sister Lillian and daughter Alfreda are tidying up. I said, why don't we close one day a week, Mom? Oh, no, can't do that. Somebody might need something. <laughs> the family is not only tight, but large. Becky is the oldest of 14. If one's sick, the rest are all ready to help. <clears throat> yeah. The store was once a barn where Becky's husband, Richard, kept tools and horses. How the couple met could also be called a transformation. So I said, okay, I'll do pen pal, don't bother me. So I started writing. I wrote to him for three years. Becky's girlfriend told her that Richard was in the army in Germany and was lonely. The letters were far from romantic. They wrote about sugaring and the first snowfall, but there was an obvious connection. Richard finally came to the Northeast Kingdom for a visit. He'd been here three times to see me. On the 25th, he had a diamond, and on August, we got married. Becky grew up here on Perrin Hill, about three miles up the road. She and Richard did move to New Hampshire, but it only lasted about a month because she was terribly homesick. They came back to Glover, bought this property, and started a sawmill. The couple loved collecting. He'd love it. He'd really love it. Sadly, Richard would never see the opening of the store. He died within three months of being diagnosed with cancer. They were married for 50 years. Unfortunately, Becky would suffer again. In December, a mile-long truck parade passed her son Carl's house in his honor. He would die just a few days later, also from cancer. Losing a son and a grandson was probably the worst. And yes, her grandson Roger, Carl's son, died of cancer in 2001 at just 20. Oh, he was a character. The grass didn't grow under his feet. You two were close? Oh, yeah. I and Roger used to do, do mud bogging. Him and Grammy. <laughs> More clothes. Give Mama something to do. It was the family who kept Becky going. Without them? I probably wouldn't be here. At 82, Becky is full of life. <laughs> There's even plans to expand the business. No, I don't want to retire. There's another sign near the door. I get up in the morning and I'm ready to go. That both Richard and Becky shared. Because that's what him and I always said. I was just living a dream. Reporting in Glover, so. Joe Carroll, Channel 3 News. Now I, I'm living the dream. <laughs> Isn't she just she is the, the most best. adorable? You know, I always love our super seniors, but I really love Becky because, full disclosure, She's my aunt, Becky. If the, the major Hill dark. didn't tip you off in Joe's <laughs> exactly. story. Exactly. We have a huge, huge, very, very big family. Yeah, you've got like 50 first cousins, right? Yeah, if you, uh, if you factor in my mom's side of the oh, yeah. family, we do. We have about 50 first cousins. Uh, Becky's on my dad's side. He's the oldest uh, sister, nine sisters, I also want to point out. So lots of love to go around up there in Glover. For sure. And I love you, Becky.